Ecuador is crazy. High five. High five. High five. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, Ciao Antis. Ah. Good morning from Guayaquil. If you saw our last video, you would know that we are here on mistake, accident. We're going like four hours the wrong way. <laughs> so, to make the most of our time here, we have, hopefully if all goes as well, we have only a day. So we are going to do everything that we can. But first, going back to the bus station to hopefully get tickets to our next an original destination. We were at the bus station trying to get tickets to our next destination. Turns out that there is a national strike going on about rising fuel costs. Yeah, they're, they're equivalent of the National Guard out. There's curfews. People are uh, lighting things on fire. <laughs> Yeah, so that definitely puts a little hiccup. Yeah, hiccup into our plans. Now we have to reevaluate and figure out another move. Yeah. But in the meantime, Let's enjoy a cup of coffee. We haven't had ours yet, so. Mm. Wild. Trying to get her. Uber. Ecuador's crazy. <laughs> we made it. Hola. Gracias. Okay. We are finally on our way to our first destination. We are going to park Seminario. We go play with some local wildlife. We got a much later start than we anticipated. Yeah. Due to the bus travel. Or the bus trap. Lack of, lack of <laughs> bus. Yeah. We made it to the little pets of Guy, Guayaquil. 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 <laughs> Found our first victim. I mean, iguana. Buddy? Camera shot. Oh my gosh. So I found a friend. So I need to get pet. High five. High five. High five. Look at those nails. These iguanas. Um, just hang out. Hang out in this park. And you can come and I don't want to say pet them, but I think you can feed them. You can come and check out the iguanas, which is pretty cool. There's literally like I see eight. I don't know. They're all kind of camouflaged. I bet you there's at least like 50 in here just hanging out. <laughs> oh my gosh, he feels so crazy. He looks like I want to snuggle him. You're appealing, buddy. He looks like you need a. I know, your poor little scales. A look... spa day. <laughs> you look like a youngster. 
Oh, you like bananas, huh? Yeah, so they eat bananas, fruit. It's so cool. I'm like afraid I'm gonna step on one. They're just like roaming around everywhere here. Been, look, we're literally in the middle of the, of the city. city. Yeah. And it's just a park full of iguanas. They this could get run over. Yeah. They cool. could get run over by a bus. Hey. Right there. I think they're a lot smarter than that, though. Yeah. yeah. They get fed here, so why, why leave? Now we are on our way to the Mount Khan, which is the boardwalk that lines the river. And we're gonna walk. A couple blocks away, so it's super easy to find. <laughs> Go. Oh, Scott, back over. <laughs> we're following the Westerners. neighborhood in Guayaquil. You can climb 444 steps to get to the top where there's a lighthouse and a nice little overlook. And this nice little stairwell is supposed to be lined with a bunch of good restaurants and bars. So looking for a place to eat. On the sign that says AC. <laughs> yeah, it's hot, muggy. And we definitely don't have the proper clothing. It looks like all the restaurants are closed thus far. It's about 12 in the afternoon, so maybe they open later for dinner. I don't know. Offers panoramic views up here of the, of the city. Be a great place to catch sunset. Okay, just eight. Um, all of that was seven fifty, including the beer, which is pretty good. Now we are off to the gondola. It's $6.20 for two people round trip because you have to buy a card. Otherwise, if you had a card, you could just load money onto it and it's a dollar forty. So Yeah. So apparently this 
little tram connects next to the island over there and um, all the locals use it as public transportation. But we use it as a tourist vacation. Vacation. Tourist. Tourist transportation. Transportation. <laughs> Can I keep him? 